Joining us from Los Angeles this morning, former LA Deputy District Attorney Robin Sachs. Robin, good to have you with us. It's interesting when we look at the, the details that we've had and, and the details we haven't had. So now we're hearing from the police. They come out and they say he was, in fact, tied to the crime. But they're not saying, as Ben pointed out, that the case is closed. Does that surprise you? Well, here in Los Angeles, there are a lot more questions than there are answers still yet, and we're already three weeks out on this investigation. And what is definitely what we heard from law enforcement, that they have unequivocally determined that this was a one-man job and that the one man was Harold Smith. But amongst the people here, that doesn't feel very settling and doesn't really necessarily match up to the evidence that we've been hearing, albeit what the detectives have called erroneous. So so what is some of that evidence which, which you say doesn't match up to, which is now being called erroneous, that raises some questions in your mind? Well, right now, everybody, or the, the presumption was that there was three shots to Ronnie Chasen's chest and a couple of shots to her shoulders. That led a lot of investigators, a lot of analysts to determine that that was a professional hit. Unless we hear that that part of the earlier reports was erroneous, it still sounds a little bit strange that someone from a bicycle is able to shoot someone three times across the chest. Of course, uh, Sergeant Snowden said, or Chief Snowden, excuse me, said that there has been erroneous reports, but he didn't go so far as to say what was erroneous. Also, where were the casings? Did Harold Smith pick up the casings? He never took anything from her vehicle. He was riding a bicycle all the way from Hollywood to Beverly Hills, which is a good seven miles away from uh, the scene of the crime from where his house is and not an area that's highly trafficked by bicycles. So still all these unanswered questions leading people to think, okay, you've just said there's a 60 to 70 percent finish of the investigation, but yet there's still all of these other parts that are unknown. Do you think there is some pressure to hurry this up, as we just as we just heard from Ronnie Chasen's friend, Roger Friedman, who said, look, there there is a little bit of pressure. It seems like they're, they're, they're hurrying an announcement a little bit. Did that come into play at all, you believe? Well, it's too bad. I feel that uh, Beverly Hills PD did such a great job remaining tight-lipped for the whole duration of this investigation and to come out and essentially close it and self-admitting that it's 60 to 70 percent done is a very dangerous uh, position, I think, for Beverly Hills Police Department because if it turns out that there was something else there, all you have to do as a defense attorney is roll that press conference where they have said that they've determined the cause of the crime. So it's really unfortunate that if there was a pressure that they actually went so far as to say more than just there was a gun match, which is what I believe the original intention of the press mm -hmm. conference yesterday was. Can you give me just a yes or no? Do you believe we'll ever know what, what definitively happened? I'm hoping so. Okay. Robin Sachs, <laughs> always good to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you, Erica.